Hello everybody, this is Upper Groove Gaming and welcome to Mid-Ohio and today we are racing at Mid-Ohio but this is actually a road course. I did not have a good qualifying run at all. It looks like we, unless we can save fuel, but doing that we'd also have to save tires too, which I'm not as nearly as good at as saving fuel. I wouldn't call myself good at saving fuel, but I'm just bad at saving tires is probably... So... Try to go under, we're trying to try to send it into turn one underneath the 97. I think it's Kitz Miller. But now he get, but he got the drive off. I just tried to send it through the turn. Right behind the 97, long straightaway here. A little bit of a turn, but not anything you have to slow down for. You know, we just got to be calm, and I think if we're calm, that will go a long way. Because we have 12 laps around this road course to work our way up. Just got to be patient. And calm. Man, I'm super nervous. Got 66 of Vandermeer. Go around our outside. And now we are up to 29th, a good first lap. I feel like I was just trying to maintain a good distance between me and the 81, but the cars behind us, Sieg and Costantino, I think they're, Co Cosentino, they're battling for position themselves, but they were just trying to send it on me. Oh dear. We absolutely sent it in there and it worked out. And we're going to get one position, maybe two out of it. Try to go by the 42 of Jones. I keep forgetting to check what his actual first name is. If it Chris Curtis? I don't think it's Curtis. We slide up in front of the 42 car. He may go into the grass. That could open the door for Smith to pass him. We go behind the three of Willie Mullins. Whoa! He tried to block us there. We're going to go down to his inside. Right behind the 44. We're going to try we're going to try to pass him around the outside. He's going to cut us off. So we're going to cross him over and go down to the inside. Down the inside. Whoa, Corey Heim, what are you doing back here? You're supposed to be a leader. And he's 23rd. I did not expect to be doing this good, by the way. I expect to be spinning out instead of passing cars. It's overall been a clean race for us. I don't know if I've hit one car at all. If not, it's been just light contact.
right behind the 20 of Heim. This is a tricky section of the course as we're going to go wide off the turn. Whoa, we just turned down to the inside of the 20 of Heim. There's contact with the 55 of Chase. Nothing severe, just... Whoa, we can't quite block the 60. We tried. No, we just can't push it too hard. Whoa. We go into the grass. But maybe Poncinelli is going to... Pedro... No, Pedro and Sully. Maybe he might try to pull away from us. See if we can outbreak him here. Whoa, I go wide. Going to the grass. We go wide. I think it might not be a bad idea to split the race in half to take it to take as much of an advantage of of tires as possible cuz we're going to have to pit once. And if caution comes out as long as we it should be worked to our advantage cuz you know with the road course the track is so long. that you don't fall a lap or two down from pitting. J.S. Carroll in the 91. As we drive around him, a great exit, we're right behind the six of Raha Karu. We're going to go down the inside of Caruth. We're also going to go down to the inside of Trotter Contact. If we go off into the grass, overdriving the corner, we're just going to give up those two positions. Well, not, well, maybe. Hold on. Okay. I think we have those positions. No, 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 no. Okay, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. But here comes a 25 of Trotter to our inside as well as a 6 of Raha Karu. Right. I feel like I'm always racing around where Trotter is. Whoa. Contact. Clear. No. Okay, well, I guess I have to pit now. I did not mean to come to pit road. But, oh well. <laughs> it's going to have to do. We're going to have to pit at some point. I feel like road course a Speed apparently wouldn't be as bad, but at the same time, it's still going to hurt you quite a bit. Okay, Alright, now we're just chilling. <laughs> Six seconds behind Max Zinc. So we just got to make sure we don't do any funny business. Now, th the good thing is you won't get slowed down by other cars, and we have fresh tires. The bad thing is I don't have other cars that kind of help me judge where I need to brake. I don't have the track, you know, perfected. Yeah, we're not going to get lapped unless we have, a, unless we, like, go off track or something. Then we might get lapped. Now. 
Uh, we beat, so we beat the leaders by one lap, so they were trying to split the race in half. We'll see how we come out comparatively to them. Unzakur was the leader. No, Gutierrez was. No, 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 no. No, Gutierrez probably stayed out. Him and Lancaster. Oh man, I took that. That was not a good turn. We're going to be way behind the cars who pitted. I did not expect that. I'm just in shock. Alright, dang it, I forgot to turn desktop notifications off. Well, it's a Danny Delivers video. You guys probably watch him anyways. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Maxink. Leader's bidding now. Whoa. We may have to do the thing again where we... Work our way up. Although, to be fair... On the curve, we were, we were 16 seconds behind the leader when we were racing. So, it might actually not be that bad. Because maybe not many cars pitted, but one of them was the leader. Oh yeah, it looks like a lot of cars are pitting. So we also beat traffic. We gotta have Pedro and Sully. I feel like this is about where we were. I didn't get quite up to Jesse Love, but I remember racing Pedro and Sully, Corey Heim. Parker Chase, Danny Smith, Raha Karuth. I thought I remember racing Jenko Jen Wiak. As Jesse, Lo Jesse Love and Cole. Jesse Love, points leader. And Cole Moore. Looks like they have a little battle going on. As we send it on the 73. And maybe the 15. Contact with the points leader. Jesse Love. I thought I remember racing Rich Bickle, too. Side by side with the 99. I think. Cole Moore. I lifted more than he did in that turn. We go down to the inside. We're by the 99. Now we chase down the 51 of Dean Thompson. Let's see, where do I cycle out officially? 13th. If we drive around the 51 of Thompson, but we go in the grass. Thompson gets out ahead. We're going to try to beat him into this turn. We're going to do just that. Now we have to chase down the 8 of Core and the 46 of Moffitt. Because Moffat's inside the top, and then we get inside the top 10. As Taylor Gray is your leader, Unzakur fell to fourth. Oh no, my engine's hot. Oh, Thad Moffat, contact! He's in the grass. I sent it. Please don't throw a caution. Please don't throw the caution. 
I'm sorry, Thad. Hopefully Richard Petty doesn't come looking for me. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. Looks like he only lost about five spots. It could have been worse. Now we have to try to hunt down the two of Nick Sanchez. We're doing good on fuel. Our tires are what they are. Maybe overdrove the corner a little bit. Three laps to go. Tenth place. We're kind. Of, we're gonna extend our top ten streak, guys. And if I can keep this up, because I think I'm pulling away from the eight of core. Granted, Nick Sanchez is 4.1 seconds ahead. Well, that was a pretty good turn. We have about a half a second on Sanchez just in that corner alone. All right, wow. That was a good turn for us. 2.9 seconds behind Sanchez now. We'll see. This, but there's a bunch of them, so if I can catch up to them I, and I pass all of them, it's going to bowl well. I'm 11.68 seconds behind the leader. I'm not going to make that up in two laps. So at one point I was 16 seconds back. That was kind of... Alright, 2.7 seconds back of Sanchez. That's my goal to pass Nick Sanchez to catch these guys. But we're, we've only gained a second in the last lap. And we, there's two laps to go. Oh man, we forced it. We forced it. Brett Favre. Sorry. We're Packers fans, and my dad always th complains about Brett Favre throwing too many interceptions because he tried to force it. Whereas Rodgers doesn't throw interceptions. Enough sticking ball sports. Oh, the notification disappeared. So yeah, 10 point seconds behind Gray. There's basically two packs of cars up ahead. We have. A few leaders, about four of them, and then five other cars. Round, and then myself, that rounding out the top ten. All right. We have a 4.2 second gap on Dean Thompson. I don't think we'll catch Nick Sanchez. We're going to try to run him down, of course, but... Alright, we're going to send it. No, 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 no. I tried to make up a gap they wasn't going to make up. 
and I'm paying the price. That was the corner where I tried to force it too much in qualifying. And that's why I didn't qualify well. Alright, well, we're back in 18th. We'll see if we can catch Moffat or Smith. We move Smith out of the way. Can we do Thad Moffat again the way we did earlier? All right. Well, we're seventeenth. I got too greedy. I got too greedy. Oh well. I mean, not a terrible race. Taylor Gray wins points. Sir Jeffrey C. Love finishes eleventh. That would be a great way for us to make up some points on him. No one got lapped, although remotely, although Mater struggled. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy the sim simulations. Speaking of which, Alex Bowman is just doing really well. So we'll see if he can uh, get a contract extension at HMS. Noah Gregson wins Mid-Ohio. After an up-and-down race, Kyle Busch ends the race in victory lane at Sonoma. As they come off of turn four, Johnny Sider holds off Drew Dollar to win at Texas. Justin Haley makes a last lap pass on Sam Mayer to get the win at Texas. Ty Majeski wins at Nashville. Here comes Allgaier to the inside. Can he win at Nashville? Off turn four, Cindric is going to hold him off. Mayor may try to get second, but Austin Cindric wins at Nashville. Denny Hamlin saves enough fuel to win at Nashville.